pulling into a Disney resort, nothing better than saying hello, I'm checking in today. Welcome back to your Daily Dose everybody and welcome to my personal favorite hotel, my, my home resort, the Wilderness Lodge today. We're actually checking out Boulder Ridge. It's going to be my first time actually in these newly renovated rooms, about a year old. I haven't been able to test them out until today. So we're gonna check out the newly renovated rooms here at Boulder Ridge. It's the DVC resort all the way to the right here inside the Wilderness Lodge, the DVC section. Um, not Copper Creek or the Wilderness, not to get confused with like the three different tiers here at the Wilderness Lodge. Our room is already ready. It was ready at one. What a magical day. And since our room is ready, I think I'm gonna go check those out real quick. Casey will be joining here a little bit later. I don't know if she's gonna be here for the first video because the reason why we wanted to book this was A for the rooms, but tonight we also wanna enjoy the evening hours that you have here at Disney, especially at the Magic Kingdom for deluxe resort guests. So we're gonna be doing that and of course having a nice little staycation day here. Probably one of my favorite things about my job here on YouTube is staying at resorts. So thank you guys for tuning in every single day to give me the opportunity to do exactly this. So uh, thank you guys so much. I love y'all and let's go have a nice night or a nice day. I'm gonna do things a little bit differently. We're not gonna go through the main lobby as Boulder Ridge has its own separate lobby. I'm gonna go through here and then take a right and we'll check out the main lobby of the wilderness a little bit later as I'm really itching to check out these new rooms. I actually followed the whole process of them actually building them and documenting if you guys have been here for years I was already kind of like speculating before they were even announced that they were redoing the rooms and here we are finally getting to see them I don't want this to be our last day here this year I really want to stay here a Grand Floridian during Christmas because there's something about that big large tree especially around the holidays that just make this place and Grand Floridian even more magical. Speaking of Grand Floridian, we are having another staycation next week. I actually just got word that we have something very exciting in the works for next week. And I know this isn't staycation Sunday. It is so quiet at the resort today. Usually most deluxes, at least how we have been here on the channel, we found them to be very, very quiet, and it's one of my favorite things, especially at the time right now, because we're rolling out on here at like at two, which most check-ins are gonna arrive for at four, because you know they're all enjoying the parks. So we can enjoy like a nice, beautiful, peaceful day here so far. You can never have enough stays at Disney's Wilderness Lodge. I could stay here for a full year. I feel like anybody could, honestly. I did read online that they have been doing some exterior work here at Boulder Ridge, just informing that there might be some noise for, for the refurbishment that they're doing on the exterior. So far, I don't really see any of that. We'll have to keep our eye out. There's not that many rooms. I think there's like only 200 Boulder Ridge rooms. Maybe like 170, 200. And the exterior refurbishment, I believe, is only going until December, and then it's pretty much all done. Our room is located on the second floor. I love how Disney just sends you that message, actually a text message, informing your room is ready. Simple. And we don't have to wait till four, which is the worst case scenario, but it is what it is expected. Welcome home to those who have DVC here at Boulder Ridge. Let's go check out these new rooms. It's very quiet, very quiet. Side note, I always find it funny how resorts still have phones. I don't think you can make phone calls on these anymore. I think these are more for service phone numbers. Yep, exactly. Not really meant to call out normally anymore since everyone has, you know, iPhones. Up we go, second floor awaits. That was perfect. We don't have to go far. Actually, we just go right here to the right. We're 2511. And it's right around the corner here. 
However, who was on the channel all the way back in 2019, 2020, 2021? Because that's when we first started actually kind of documenting the different changes that they were actually testing all the way over there. They were testing the carpet and they had some trial test rooms of what we're going to see today. And today actually isn't an ordinary room. We are actually in a one bedroom villa. I wanted to go a little bit bigger than a deluxe studio. So that is exactly what we're gonna do. And we're gonna head down this way. And judging by where our room is, ooh, that is zoomed in. We have got a actual beautiful view of what I actually love about this resort the most, and it's actually viewing at Boulder Ridge's pool, which I think we have a viewing of that. Let's hope our key works on our phone. It should. 2511, please work. You can do it. Let's go. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Wow. Okay. They did such a nice job with these. I feel like I'm in a cabin in the woods. I'm, I'm kind of lost for words. They, you can totally tell like how much thought they have put into these rooms. These might be my new favorite. Now, if you're new to the channel, Disney kind of has like the same layouts as far as the, the, their, villa go, their villas go in DVC. They all kind of have the same layout, but this one I can kind of tell just has more theming. It's not like bland, it's more like you feel like you're a cabin in the woods. Let's let's take a look at it. We're gonna start here with the front. That is where I just came in. And it's all about the doors too. You see how they just like, I feel like I'm, I'm in a cabin and it's got that rustic feel too, which is paying homage to actually Boulder Ridge is whole concept on what Boulder Ridge all stands for. I'll get more into that a little bit later. This is gonna be your closet if you're, you're here for a long time and need some more space. Gonna have our coat rack with, or mirror, which I decided to hang my umbrella and put my key and wallet there because, you know, what else am I gonna use that for? Our thermostat gonna be here to the right, which we're gonna start with the theming already as we are headed on in. By the way, these rooms actually were built in 2000 and just remodeled, I believe for the first time, in, well, technically last year, 2023. Now here's where I kind of just noticed on how well the theming is here, especially with the chairs just sound that super comfortable. The colors pop and look at the cool posters on the wall. Mickey and Minnie out in the wilderness, the cannons, a very cool, ah, I just tripped over my backpack. Very cool lamp themed as well. It's going to run into your full kitchen. Obviously we have a stove, we have a freezer with the fridge all there microwave what do you guys think about the green on the cabinets obviously the wilderness lodge's colors coffee maker an upgraded one too that you're gonna get a little bit better one here at the villas comes with all these coffees that's pretty much standard at every disney resort everything we have in the cabinets is pretty much everything you need to eat drink entertain make your own food obviously comes with some dish soap paper towel pots cutting boards all that stuff for cooking all this stuff for eating. Not to mention slow closing hinges. Look at that, it kind of gets stuck though. They're, they're trying their best at slow closing, that's for sure. The living room and as well as the master is kind of the highlight for me. Ooh, what's in here? Is this just storage as well? Yeah, you can store whatever you want in there. Nice like 55, 60 inch TV, that's a big honker. This actually is gonna bleed into another room if you wanted to actually have a two bedroom, so that's someone's basically studio standard. Here's gonna be a nice pano of the room. And obviously the pull down Murphy bed here, like that just looks so flippin' cool. And not even to mention the art there too, if you don't wanna pull it down, if you're obviously here just with yourself like I am, I'm not gonna be utilizing that. But this does sleep up to four. You can, I believe, get a, another one up to five. Obviously a two bedroom can sleep up to five to six. But these touches are great. This actually might be my new new favorite room type. It's just, it's really cool to be a part of. Like, I don't know how to explain it. This is just something that I would imagine coming into the Wilderness Lodge. We have our balcony right there. I'll show you our view in a second here. Let me get this out of the way to show you guys. Oh, these are on wheels. Actually, how this comes on down. 
That was very easy. Weighted pillow. I believe it can come down by itself too. I don't really have to do much pressure. Aww. There you have it. Ooh, nice bed. That's cute. I love Disney art. Gotta get something like that in, in my house. These pillows are actually pretty weighted and that bed felt great. Now prices vary throughout the year. It's gonna run you anywhere from 652 to about $1,000 a night here for the one um, bedroom villa. Obviously it's pretty pricey. That's why I'm here for you guys. But so far this is right up there with, with the Grand Floridian for me. Now let's go check out the bathrooms, two of them technically, and the main bedroom. Carrying on over into this section, we're gonna actually have our laundry room, and look at what they did. That's actually cut through the door, and there's gonna be the laundry room, or just, you know, the, the washer and the dryer. Sorry I didn't turn the light on in the bathroom yet. This is just the shower with the toilet. Love that kind of shower. Love to see that in hotel rooms. I'm not a big fan of curtains, most of you guys know that. Ooh, very nice. Okay, okay, Disney. Obviously have the H2O products locked up though. Here's gonna be the sink. And right next to what I like to call the throne room, as it does have a little privacy door. You can slide shut. I was thinking it was gonna shut, but I gotta put more force with it. But there's the bathroom. Cool, right? There actually is a door that leads in to this side of the bathroom, which is gonna be where you guys stay, most likely, you parents. Really big, big tub as well with some really cool artwork. Like, see what I mean? This one, I feel like they really did do more than you, you see potentially at some of the other DVC resorts. Nothing against them, but this is more kind of my style. That's the door that's gonna lead into there. I'm just not gonna open it. And this should be our closet. It sure is. There's our light, oh, it's right here. Where is it? Oh. There's the closet. Enough space for most suitcases, potentially. Now we're gonna lead on out. Actually, I just wanna show you guys this one more time because it's so cool. We're gonna head on out into the main bedroom, which I like how it actually go, goes from different style of floors, you know? And then into a carpet master primary room. Mirror here on the left. And here's gonna be the king size mattress. I love that wallpaper. Usually not a fan of wallpaper, but I love that touch. Instead of just having bare walls, I like how most deluxe do that here at Disney. My favorite being over at the Grand Floridian. Big bed, big king, about a 50 inch TV, dresser, enough storage, seat if you wanna sit there, a very cool themed lamp. Ooh, let's check this out. Curtains. Makes it pretty dark in here, so I'm gonna open that up. Let's get some more light in here. It's very sharp looking. Like, even look at the theming of this. Look at that, ooh, that feels cool. There's a lot of theming, a lot of theming. And there's a lot of plugs too, so don't, don't be uh, worried about that. There is plugs pretty much everywhere in this villa. A little Mickey pillow, or Mickey pillow, what am I talking about? Mickey towels? Let me show you the villa. Also, most of the, the, the windows have that on there now. I don't know why, but they do. Here's our view. This is what I like a view of, that pool. And that's Copper Creek over there. So you guys can stay there too, but I just haven't been able to check out these new rooms. And I'm blown away. These might be my new favorite. They really might. And out into the main area again. Oh, let's go on the balcony. Comment down below, what do you guys think? Obviously it's, it's expensive, it really is. Uh, double locked. Nice little balcony, not the, not the biggest. But most of these right here in this section are going to be one bedroom villas. And there's actually a balcony over here that's gonna be the deluxe studio next to me. 
And here's our view. Second floor. Goes up to floor four, by the way. Some of you guys might not like the pool. It's not the loudest pool, as it is kind of like the quieter of the two. It's not the main one. But yeah, we're gonna go enjoy your day. Just wanted to start out with showing this room as uh, I was so excited to see it. Like, look at this. Like, come on. It's beautiful. I wanna do a Wi-Fi test as a lot of resorts here at Disney World don't have the best Wi-Fi. It will do its trick for most of you guys, but for me as a content creator who has to upload, some of the resorts just aren't viable and I don't remember if this one is good enough or not. We'll find out here in a second. The Wi-Fi, it'll work. It'll work, it'll do the trick, we'll be great for whatever you need to do. It's not fiber, but it's sufficient enough. It'll get the job done overnight for you guys to see this video today on Wednesday. Oh boy, oh they lock this again. Oh boy. We have got some rain. It looks like it's about to rain. They just called the pool, so everyone had to clear. So that means a lightning is in the area. I don't know how I didn't show you guys this. I just discovered this nice little lamp. Look at that. The kids have a nice little nightlight at night. And it's a lantern. Great resort to be at when it's raining. Nothing like the wilderness in a cold downpour in the middle of the summer. Except that means the lobby is going to be pretty packed now. Oh my gosh, it's Donald Duck. And we have Pluto. Occasionally here at the Wilderness Lodge, if you're lucky like we are today, they'll have characters wandering in the, the lobby. To be honest, it's actually not that crowded in, in the lobby. Usually during the rain, this is where everybody goes. I mean, you do have the characters. This isn't guaranteed every day. I will say we're at like the perfect time of the year where Disney's getting more of those college programmers and they need to learn, especially, you know, what we're seeing here. Oh, look at this. They came on their special bus. There it is, caravanning around the world. They're probably gonna go to another hotel, how neat. Yep, sure enough, they're leaving. That's definitely one of the cool things Disney does for their hotel guests. Don't think we're gonna be dining at the Whispering Cannon tonight, considering we are doing the extended evening hours for hotel guests only, or sorry, we, deluxe hotel guests only. There's the times. I mean, we could, but it really depends on when Casey does get here, and I think she's getting here around seven. We've done the Wilderness Lodge, we've done club level here, and we've done Copper Creek, and now we've done Boulder Ridge, Well, I've showed you guys the rooms. There's only one thing left to do here, and it's the cabins. Don't know when I'm ever gonna do that, but we'll see. Hopefully, within the next couple of years, we'll check out the cabins here eventually. By the way, if you didn't know, you can actually just come up here. You don't need to be staying at the resort just to come up and look at it from a different standpoint. You can just use the stairs or the elevator if you want. There's no limit to enjoying the main lobby. There's even some cubbies up here, some nice chairs just to people watch. It's the best lobby in my opinion at all of Walt Disney World. It's just grand. I'm in the gift shop here and they have salt and pepper shakers. This is neat. I think I've only seen this here actually. 30 bucks for these. I've gotta come back in a couple minutes. I'm gonna eat at the Territory Lounge. They have some of the best bites and I'm actually gonna get something to drink here too. It's a shame we're actually not staying here on a Thursday. I mean, you guys are seeing this on Thursday, but I was obviously here yesterday because then we would have been able to make a welcome mat. Oh, is this the welcome? Oh, no, it's one of the hangers. That's cool. Except I don't know what that is. The Wilderness Lodge forever holds a place special in my heart. Like, this is just... Never gets old. It's definitely worth the splurge. 
Definitely is. Pools are still down. Definitely going to get a get a snack here. Ooh, foggy lens. It's very humid out. Unfortunately, we have storms until 7. So no pool day today. Maybe tomorrow because we are cutting it close with uh, the extended evening hours that we are taking advantage of staying at a deluxe resort tonight. If y'all are a visual person like I am, here's the wilderness. Here's going to be Copper Creek. And here's going to be the wilderness as well. All like the regular rooms. Copper Creek and then Boulder Ridge, which where we are and actually our room is located right there. Taking a look at the menu for the territory lounge and my goodness, I feel like I'm winning it a lot. But wait till you see this. They have a s'mores old fashioned. Got to try that bad boy out too, but I see at least like five things I want from the shareable bites. Officially the first in line here to rope drop the territory lounge. Well, we're technically opening it up and I actually had no idea about this. I must have actually had an idea. Like I, I think I just forgot, but actually everything behind that glass is all real. And we're the first. Let's get something to eat. Let's get something to drink and just kind of chill here in the lounge. Gotta love it. A lot of people are already going up to Artist Point, Snow White. It's getting pretty busy already, and this flag is original, all new. The flag from 1861. Check out how many stars they have too. It's real, it's authentic. All right, I came prepared. I put every everything in that I want. I'm getting the s'mores old fashioned, which is what they're kind of known for. And also they literally say they have the best charcuterie board here. And I actually believe them. I actually got them last time, I loved it. But uh, I'm gonna try the loaded potato flatbread and then bacon on the wire, which is $25. So this better be some of the best bacon I've ever had in my life. And it's actually kind of getting packed in here already. It's kind of wild. I've gotten so used to dining by myself like that I almost find it weird if I'm not dining by myself. I mean, it's either me or Casey or with somebody else, who knows, but a lot of you guys are probably like, how are you eating by yourself? It's just, I'm used to it right now and can't wait to have a s'mores old fashioned and flatbread and bacon on the wire. I might get two drinks. I'm undecided because they actually do have a, a Halloween special. It's a, it's a margarita. It's right here. It's got Patron, 17 bucks. We're at Disney after all. It's, it's expensive. Just me, myself, this is gonna cost like 70 bucks, which is wild. That is actually insane. We'll see what the total is, but it's it's um it's not cheap here. The bacon's actually the most expensive thing, ironically enough. I was told by uh, Justin to stir it with the marshmallows so it gives it a little bit extra flavor here. This is gonna be my uh, relaxing drink. Oh boy. Obviously it's very strong. <laughs> I gotta turn my head around for this one. It's actually really good. Or $25 bacon just arrived. Cool display. I mean, we're at Disney after all, and I didn't know it actually comes with deviled egg. It's got salmon on there. I believe there's shrimp. I don't know what the middle one was, but three pieces of bacon. Do the math, divided by 25. <laughs> it's expensive. But honestly, like, this is really good. It's really juicy. I'm probably gonna eat it all, honestly. I don't know if I'm gonna get dinner tonight. This might honestly just be it, but we'll see what happens here. This is actually beef jerky in the middle. So salmon, beef jerky, and then shrimp. And there's also some glaze for the bacon. We're gonna try that coming up here soon. I am gonna politely put this over here. I might try that. The thing about this flatbread, it's not something that I'm traditionally gonna go for, or like just right off the bat. It's the only option, that's why I got it. Um, the, the potatoes isn't my favorite, but the flavor is actually phenomenal on this. If you can get by the potatoes on flatbread, you'll be fine. Here's some very expensive bacon. It's great bacon. I don't know why it's so expensive though. Try this glaze. Okay, so as far as the candied bacon go, you know, obviously it's really expensive. It's, it's you know, it's bacon. I just wanted to give it a try to see if it was insanely, insanely good. I would definitely pass on it if, you know, you, you want more than three bacons. It was just okay. It's, it's, it's bacon. The deviled eggs were good. I didn't want to try the salmon one. I just didn't really want to. The glaze that it comes with is absolutely phenomenal, but, you know, it's just bacon.
Just in my server is very good. He uh, rec recommended the LNC GNT because they have a special garnish, and I just want to try it. 16 to 50 for this. It's gin. We're going to give it a go. We're going to call this the living with the land drink because the garnish on top is actually grown in living with the land, and this is the only place you can get it here. Crazy, right? <laughs> I think this is actually like the flower. Flowers that I had outside of my house that, that died. I forgot what they're called. I'll get the name of it, but that's hilarious. This actually is the flowers that are outside of my house, but it's grown in living with the land. It's the pentas. They come in different colors, but it's grown in living with the land. But side note, I actually want to tell you about this because I actually just got word that the Home Depot is actually now selling Christmas decorations, but they have a lot of ones from Disney. There's a Donald Duck. I know this is crazy because it's not even Halloween yet, but they are selling Christmas decorations at the Home Depot right now. And I might buy something because I kind of want a Donald Duck thing for Christmas. This drink is really refreshing. Like, I'm not even joking. It kind of tastes like water. It goes down super quick. Like, you know, it's not hard. It, it, uh, it tastes like I'm drinking flavored water. This is, this is something else. Sure enough, this is the plant that I had outside my house. These suckers are hard to hard to survive in the Florida climate, but it's definitely easy in the living with the land. So now I feel like if these grow back, I'm gonna use them for garnishes on drinks because Disney does, so why can't I? What a great time. I honestly feel like I'm on a cruise ship, but I gotta go back to the room to drop this stuff off so I have an extra hand. It's kinda hard to film and hold food and a drink. Did not expect to leave with a drink, but here we are. If you're wondering what the bill was, $96 just for me. Disney is expensive. It's so funny. I came back to the room with leftovers and I gotta tell you, this actually tastes so much better cold than warm because I am just eating it all. This is my last piece. I don't even know why I brought the leftovers home. Home to my room. Mmm, so good. Mm. By the way, if you don't like the, the potato one from the Territory Lounge, they actually have a meat lovers flat meat lovers flatbread at Geyser Point here at Wilderness Lodge. Now, one of my favorite things about Boulder Ridge is actually the theming of this place. These were actually built in the year 2000 and it changed its name to Boulder Ridge in 2016. And to fit the theming, this part of the lodge was built by the railroad workers in the late 19th century. Now these villas actually play an important part in building the Transcontinental Railroad because they were actually used as housers, housing for those who were building the railroad. These villas were actually intended to design to look like train roundhouses and fun fact, if you didn't know, Walt actually loved trains, so that's why Disney came up with this concept. And one of the coolest things is, if you look at the Boulder Ridge Pool, Disney actually recycled the crane from uh, the canyon in the backlot tour at Disney's Hollywood Studios. That scene where it was like flooding where you got stopped, it is now here at Boulder Ridge. <laughs> Next time you guys come here, make sure you say hello to our room, which it's that one right there, is my villa. Make sure you come say hello. May who knows, maybe one of you guys actually shared this room. Honestly, maybe I probably should shut the blinds because you can see right into these rooms. But that's mine right there. And that's the gym if I feel like working out. Remember how I said earlier in this video they're working on exterior work here at this resort? I don't really see much. And it's, it's a Wednesday, you'd think they'd actually be working on the exterior of the building, but I don't think they are. I do see some forklifts all the way down there, but they're not working on like anything right now, which is nice, maybe because it's raining, or it was. I think we're good now though. That's all I can see. Maybe they're pretty much almost wrapped up with it all. You see that lift? So maybe they're working on the way end of the building, but it doesn't really seem to be an issue as everything seems to be kind of complete. Here at Boulder Ridge. Simply one of the best resorts Disney has to offer. Look at this. Heck to the yeah. 
they don't offer any boats here anymore. Gotta go to, I believe, the Grand Floridian for that. And the Contemporary, Contemporary has it. Just no demand over here anymore. Beautiful night, it's so chill. The temperature is great. Everything's great about this. Love this resort so much. I actually just stopped by the campfire and I got a little Disney magic here. I got a s'mores kit, which is normally seven bucks. I'm gonna check this out. They didn't have to do that. It doesn't start till seven, but she's like, here, have one. I'm like, okay, thanks so much. It's turned out to be a good night after all. These pine needles smell so good. The pool's open. Casey's about to be here and we're about to head on over to the Magic Kingdom. That's gonna be for another vlog for tomorrow. It's partly why we wanted to have this staycation so we can enjoy those deluxe resort extended hours. I truly love this resort. I really do. It's why I come here so often and I wanna come back here again for Christmas. It's a magical time. It's a magical feeling. Hey, Mr. Squirrel. Squirrels. Well, all I have to do next is stay at these cabins. That's going to be a while because these bad boys run anywhere from two to like 3,000 a night. So one of these days we'll stay at the cabins. Just probably not anytime soon. It's on my bucket list. I might as well try this s'mores kit right now. There's a few grill spots here which you can always find a spot where nobody is at this resort. And I think I found it over here. So let's go, let's go try this. On the other side, someone was actually using the grills. Nobody's over here. So let's sit here. By the way too, no mosquitoes. It's crazy. Disney does a great job. Nice benches. Partially why I love this resort is just the feeling of it. I don't know. You don't get this in Central Florida. Heck, you don't get this pretty much anywhere else. But here's what it comes with. Got the crackers and the chocolate. And then here's the s'more, which you can you can fry, obviously at the, the fire that they have, but we're not gonna do that. Well, they might not have mosquitoes, but they sure do have ants. Maybe not the best way to sit here with those ants crawling everywhere. We're on the wilderness after all. Oh my goodness. I might have to do this tomorrow. I might as well come back to our place here to try this. Here's the s'mores kit. So it comes with obviously two of these graham crackers, two of the chocolates, and one marshmallow. So instead of going to the fire tonight, because we're not gonna be able to make it, I'm gonna put this in the microwave. We have a microwave. You can micro mi 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 uh, microwave marshmallows. So I'm gonna do exactly that. Where's my, there's. Here's my plate. Put the marshmallow on the plate. Open this. Plate in there. Let's watch it cook. It gets all big and fluffy, you see? Oh my gosh! Holy cow! I think it's getting so big! It looks like a pancake! Whoa! Whoa! You calm down there, buddy! Would you just look at that? I've actually, uh... Never liked marshmallows my whole life. But now all of a sudden I do. It's kind of crazy. And why do I think the, marsh the marshmallow cooks better in the microwave? I mean, you can get it more burnt over a fire, but look at how goopy this is. Kind of reminds me of Vero Beach and how goopy theirs was. You guys watched that last year? They had some goopy marshmallow stuff. Oh my gosh, look at this. Yeah. Ah, here we go. Oh my God. really goopy. Holy cow. Guys, sorry for this, but their graham crackers remind me of what we have at Disneyland where they have the, the caramel that's like frozen with cinnamon. It's unbelievable. These graham crackers are worth it. I know it's expensive, but holy cow. This is like a taste of Disneyland that I didn't know was here. Unbelievable. Wow. Yeah, messy. Oh my gosh, I want Casey to to try this. Mm, so good. Oh my God. Unbelievable. I'm eating like a kid right now and I don't care. <laughs> Look who it is. Come on in. Ooh. <gasps> oh, wow. Isn't it so nice? Oh, there's a TV is gigantic. Oh, I love these. I want those in my house. Hi everybody. 
I finally made it, so sorry for the delay. I need you to try that, because it is Good. amazing. I left you some, I could've ate it all, but I, I thought of you. you. I thought of you. Let us know how it is. It reminds me, oh yeah, it's pretty sticky. It reminds me of what we had at Disneyland. It's like a mozzarella stick. But gooey. It's all about that graham cracker, because that graham cracker is insane. Mm. You don't have to hype it up like I did, but I really, really enjoyed it. It was very good, but I like my s'mores with more chocolate. I must a little ate. less graham cracker, so I think the proportions are a little bit off. Well, what does a graham cracker taste like? It tastes like the thing that you're telling me. Yeah, like heaven on earth. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. she's going for more. See? See? Mm -hmm. See? It's good. Mm-hmm. If you're not going to finish it, I will gladly finish it. Well, with that, everybody, that is going to be it for today's Daily Dose. We're going to pick up with part two, actually, from right here. Casey got here a little bit later, so we're actually about to head to the Magic Kingdom to start filming for or deluxe after hours, extended hours, which is going to be good. But I'm a little bit worried about it because I was actually talking about with one of you today, and they went to Epcot, and they said it was slammed. So mm. hopefully Epco Epcot is different than Magic Kingdom's. We'll see. We'll see. The nice thing about Magic Kingdom is it's so much bigger than Epcot and has so many more attractions. So mm. I do think that crowds will be dispersed a little bit better at a Magic Kingdom after hours. So we'll find out. We'll be, the, we'll be the testers for you. What time does it start? I think you said nine or ten. I mean, it's I mean, ten. It ten. Ten, ten to, to eleven. Ten to one. Yeah, what is that eleven? Wow. Yeah. I mean, that's a decent amount of time. Let me check. It's actually eleven to one. And this is the last night where it's 11 to 1, and it's going to switch over from 10 to midnight. Um, so we're going to probably get there at 10. We're going to chill here for a little bit and head on over to the Magic Kingdom and see what we can do in two hours here for the deluxe um, extended hours. So with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this little staycation. We're really here for what is tonight, but we also, well, I enjoyed, obviously, what you guys saw today, which was chill. What time is it? It's almost 8 o'clock. We're going to... Have some fun here, chill, and then head on over to Magic Kingdom. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Hope you guys enjoyed this, and uh, that was it for your daily dose. Bye-bye.